Hola! So here goes, like, what would be better than me starting my own challenge? So, I'm going to be the first to start the child challenge, okay? Be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, so here goes. I'm going to read the caption out loud. And remember, I'm starting my own challenge, so I wrote this to myself. So instead of Dear Empress, Dear Empress, it's Dear Myself. Dear Myself, it's been a long journey, and I'm proud that you're still a soldier fighting on. But self, I struggle with grief, and I'm afraid of letting my loved ones that have passed on go. I struggle with replaying all the toxic incidents of my past relationships. Wishing I had made better choices always haunts me. I struggle with depression and self-doubt, and on most days, I don't even want to respond to texts, calls, or even see the people I care about. My second mind is always telling me that I can't do something or that I'm not good enough. This is really what I go through on a daily. How can I conquer So this is what I would tell my myself, my lower self that wrote that to me. Never let anyone tell you to get over somebody's debt. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm what? I'm 28 and my mom passed at age 13 and I still like grieve like it just happened yesterday because the event was so traumatic. It feels like it was just yesterday. You understand? So it's like dealing with grief is never easy but what i could say is you know always try to embrace the whole experience not just the good times you had with a person but the bad times to experience it remember it all keep the memories close to your heart you know and and use that as gas to, to motivate you to to do what you have to do to know that you you making them proud from wherever they are now you know and if they were here they would be so proud of you because you know that what they don't want for us is to be here you know um grieving crying missing them so much that we can't even continue with our own guys don't regret your past relationships friendships okay everything that you experience is just that an experience a lesson to be learned and if you respond to it you know um more on the positive side it could put you in a better position in the future you understand to deal with these 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 things you know what i'm saying and most of the people that we engage with and we come into contact with we date or becomes friends with they're just a reflection of us so what i've learned that if if i don't like something or i don't like the people that i have in my environment it, it starts with me so i have to fix that now in order to you know be in a better position when it comes to those situations man when we get to talking about um depression and self-doubt oh lot of mercy <laughs> man at times i really feel bipolar you know like i really don't be running to respond to text call and i could just had a big conversation with you big laugh yesterday but then tomorrow i'm in a different mood so my 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 advice when it comes to depression and self-doubt self-doubt you know it's just fears fears hold you back and and it's just to let you know that there's something challenging you know in front of you so never never be afraid to do the things that you really feel in your heart that you need to do go for it when you feel a fear burning in your heart that's when you run and jump and you go crazy with your ideas whatever it is you want to do out here um that you you feel fear fear in your heart about um depression our depression is 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 cleaning house you know check your environment check the people that you have around you see what depression yes half of the time is you you are triggered so you have to to find what to trigger your depression and you conquer it by that for me um i can't have negative people around that's gonna always remind me of my past or just bringing up negative things nothing that's driving me to move forward so i cut all ties with a type of um behavior and those type of people you know and i've been actually doing better I have a problem i'm so busy at home that sometimes i don't get to clean up on time now i've conquered that by staying on top of everything when i stay on top of everything everything staying out i could breathe i could function more and that prevents me from going into my depression i'm trying to keep these short and entertaining guys but i love you guys and you know what no matter what don't give up on yourself <laughs>